How's it going guys, it's Mr Lone Wolf and uh, today I'm going to review this thing, the Freightliner M916A1 It's the last time I'll call it that <laughs> It's just Freightliner M9 if it's lucky um, As for the engines, top engine, it's looking like a good start because it's got like the power goes up to S As for the gearboxes, it's got its own special sort of off-road gearbox um, It's kind of overall faster than the off-road but yeah it's like halfway but well I don't know about halfway but somewhere between off-road and highway the suspension it does actually raise it uh, a fair bit it doesn't sit like that low anyway there is them stairs though you can see that are sticking out that don't really help as for tires it's not even got the mud options obviously it's the sort of truck where it's just got dual rears for everything so I'm gonna go for chained anyway but um, yeah, normally it's like, if anything's going to persuade me, it's usually muds. Some of the off-road are good though, I'm not knocking them. Um, as for the winch, I put the top winch on. Frame add-ons, it can only have a crane, a saddle high or a saddle low, and it can't have the crane and the saddle low or high at the same time. As for the snorkels, it's one of them where it starts the camera at the back for some reason. Uh, you've got the those ones that are like supposedly stock. The other one goes a little bit higher, but not a lot. Um, exhaust, I left the stock one in the end, on in the end because it's just on the other side to the driver so there's nothing blocking your view. All those exhausts do look pretty cool though, I did try them all out. Um, yeah, I tried all sorts before this video, I put smaller tyres on to see out if it affects the turning and all bits and bobs but we'll get into that pretty soon. Uh, you got the beacons and stuff, uh, obviously I'll leave them off just in case. As for the bumpers, really, the stock one I think is the best one. The next one up isn't that bad, I have to be honest. Like, they're pretty damn similar, but uh, that one has got like that lip on the front, so I definitely wouldn't recommend that. And again, the top one is a bit worse, but nothing crazy. But yeah, I just, to be honest, I quite like the four winch points on the front of the stock bumper. I did test all the bumpers though and they've all got four winch points at the front of the truck so it doesn't you don't have to have like those little um, toe eye looking things or whatever um, as for the yeah sun visor as you can see one of them's green it's, it's color coded <laughs> if you keep the truck in the green color it arrives in otherwise it's just a green sun visor <laughs> that doesn't really suit a lot of other colors uh, I put some rims that it's got all the usual route quite a lot like not one or two like some of the trucks have as for the colors it's got that one which yeah, doesn't look too bad again that one not too bad for some weird reason I kept being drawn to that one initially when I was testing tonight I was uh, using that one but yeah at some point that other one I've had quite a lot of yellow trucks so that that one I don't know I think the orange stripe looks sort of suits it quite nicely uh, yeah so we're going to take a look at it like I say, it sits pretty high anyway, so it looks like it's got pretty decent uh, ground clearance and stuff. As for looks, I wouldn't say it's one of my favourites, it's not horrible by any means. I'd like to change that front white or silver, whatever, grill that's on it. Um, yeah, when you get in the cab though, you see you've got two extra mirrors. They don't really do a lot, I admit, but they're there. Uh, having a little look around the cabs, all pretty old school looking. I don't think there's any rev count. Oh no, sorry, there isn't any rev counter in front of me. That's the speedo which is a bit of an odd place to put it. Obviously it's not the game choice, I assume the truck in real life is like that. The uh, rev counter is in the middle of the speedo, there's a little yellow needle. When you look out the back, I can just see my tyres, but basically this big like thing on the back that does nothing, that's just like a winch thing or whatever, It's uh, yeah, that basically gets in the way a bit really. Um, yeah, as for mirrors, I c again, I can see my tire in that bottom one when the sun's not shining on it like that. I can see it a bit better, but not amazing. However, the view behind, I could see quite a lot of that garage door. So, view behind isn't bad. And obviously, you've got the back window. Uh, see, when I was revving now, I was trying to look around for any needles that are going. And then I seen, you can see the yellow needle revving up there. And it goes like pretty high but when I let go it instantly blips back down so it's quite a fast revving truck which I'll get into whether that can be good or bad as we go and uh, yeah first things like that's gonna be apparent a lot of the night unfortunately is the steering is 
all kinds of messed up. Um, as for the trailers, it's as near as makes no difference. It might be tilting almost up a tiny bit, but it's essentially like flush with the floor. So a bit like the Navistar. Uh, there was another one recently that was about the same. But yeah, pretty decent ground clearance. Right, you see I'm, how I'm steering the wheels now? I just steered left and then right. Now watch it, go, see it jerk left and then go right. That was just me putting right hand steer on it. I, I don't, it does it again, see? But if you turn from left to right, it doesn't do it. But if you turn full lock either way and then go to go the same way again, it does weird, like it does steers in the opposite direction and then goes the direction you want. See, when I change to left hand steering, it doesn't do it. Then I go back to right hand, it doesn't do it. But then you try, oh no, that's left, uh, going left again. Now I'll probably go left. Yeah, see how it jerks right quickly? When you're going down the road, that's bad. <laughs> like, when you try and turn right and the truck starts going left for a second, it's bad. Um, so there I am doing full lock. And look, it's not just me going crazy. That was a left-hand turn. And as you see, it fed, I don't know, a fifth of the wheel steer into the right. And then again, that way, that was turning right. But it put left-hand steer first. Like, yeah, I don't like that at all. I don't know... It feels too deliberate to be a bug, but I honestly don't know. It almost, to me, I guess, is like they've done it to nerf how good it is, but then it's like, just nerf the engine. Alright, see there? I tried to turn left, and you can see my truck clearly start to veer right first, and obviously I didn't have time. I steered... I just want to get this clear now. You will see from driving tonight that you'll be like, is he blindfolded? You need to drive this truck yourself to see. It's like... I'm in putting steering about a second or two before you see anything happening and sadly it's beyond slow st it's the weirdest steering ever every now sometimes it's instant sometimes it's slow as heck sometimes it does a bit of the opposite steer first sometimes it doesn't like it just unpredictable isn't even the word it's like you just you never know when I'm turning it's like oh is it gonna be absolutely rapid like the Tega is it gonna be really slow like the Voron is it just gonna bite in and near enough tip me over like it I don't know yeah and then that thing where it puts the opposite steering is honestly all night I've been crashing into everything because because of that like it's one thing to have delayed steering I'll just say there, you see it slow down over that rock. I'm not too sure I buy it being like S for the power, only one away from S plus, unless S plus plus, uh, sorry, unless S plus extends to like S plus 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 plus, but it just says one plus, because I'm not saying it's a weak truck by any means, it's definitely got some guts to it and it's got some low end grunt and that, but power to weight like it feels a bit of a weighty truck not crazy but yeah I don't know I'm, like I would knock it down a notch or two max but as for the uh, special off-road gearbox I went in there in high but then I put it into uh, high low this is like and this isn't a complaint necessarily but you'll get what I mean it's not really a complaint about the gearbox either. However, it's given me like a special gearbox. I tell you, in fact, pause that thought. Watch here. I steer full right. I go to steer right again. And it goes left first and I smash into the barrier. When I'm on a PlayStation trying to steer, I can't just feed 40% of steering. And it's like you just flick the stick left or right. And then I let go of the stick and then I go to put some more in but then every time you've already turned a direction and you turn it again it does that opposite steering thing so you end up going down the road like this because once you have got full lock it's very very slow to get back unless it's not in which case it turns like a house fly and then ro I don't know it's just the steering is horrific to be honest like absolutely just ruins the truck pretty much everything about it. it's like the Derry, not the one with the crap engine that ruins the truck, the one with the crap axle <laughs> that ruins the truck. Here, I managed to turn instantly and too late in like two seconds. It just somehow has an ability to have all kinds of steering, slow, fast, and then look at it, it's like, I 
promise you I'm not trying to milk this. I just wanted I wanted to get this done. I did not want to hit that and have to drive all the way back. So that was not on purpose. Clip them rocks. I go to steer left, but it puts a bit of right in first, and then I go over the hill. I was having so much fun in this Voron, I didn't even see it there. I only, when I got to about here, I was like, oh yeah, shit, I'm supposed to be rescuing something, where is it? <laughs> and then I was like, oh yeah, there it is. Sticker in reverse. One good thing, this is like with a bumper, how it has the four winch points, including the very corners, top, bottom, whatever, it depends which way you rolled. It's easier to flip back, but... I don't know. It's not the hardest to tip, so it's kind of like saying, well, I piss the bed, but I come with a free catheter, so yeah. <laughs> it doesn't it's not gonna look good on uh what's it called? Fucking Tinder, is it? Like, yep, yeah, I piss the bed, but I've got a piss bag with me, so I'm all good. Um as for the revs, to be honest, as you can see it's, it's flicking around like a mad one. Whether I put it in low, low, medium, low, high, low, it might go up a little bit more, but it's generally speaking, the needle's just flicking around like a nutcase, and yeah, <laughs> you're talking like 500 to 1,000 revs it's just flicking around on, so it's like, yeah, that's, <laughs> that's not that accurate, if I'm honest. However, I would say it'd go over here, it's a bit slow, as you can see. It's kind of weight balance, 50-50, but I don't know. Maybe it could do with slightly bigger tyres, but the fronts sink in quite a lot. The back sit on top more, obviously, because they're jewels. It'd probably help if it had single rear tyres that could just sink in and dig in. But I would just about trust it with a trailer over there. I don't know about a seriously heavy one, but yeah, like it's better than some trucks over there. And I'm not saying it's bad, like for, especially as an early game truck. I can see the appeal except for the steering. Again, watch this. I turn full left, I let go for a second, turn left again, it starts turning a little bit right and then I hit the post because I started turning left again two truck lengths back and all I got out of it was a little bit of right hand steer and it's like, yeah that ain't good. <laughs> Imagine trying to drive down the motorway and you try and go into the fast lane and you start swerving into the slow lane and then you swerve really violently into the fast lane <laughs> then you try and overcorrect and you swerve, it's like, it's just a nightmare to be honest. it's a shame because I can I can see what's there but it, I don't think it's the best truck anyway regardless of the steering but as an early game truck well the thing is you can get the A's of John early game and I mean that's not got a fast gearbox but it's a beast like it's going to eat everything for breakfast early game. It's going to eat most things for breakfast late game. So, this thing... I mean, even now, S-Power, apparently... I know my bumper's clipping on that rock a bit, but it's not dug in completely, because as you can see, it's pushing me up the rock to where my front wheels lift off, and the inside rear axle lifts up enough that it just wheel spins instead of pushing. And those rears are not biting in enough to shove me up the hill, which... Again, is like, well, I know you, even no matter how much power you've got, you could wheel spin, but I honestly thought it would be able to just push me up there like pretty much everything else does. And uh, yeah, now, right, I turned right, I tried to put some more right in, and it steers left a little bit. It will go right eventually, but that's not good enough when... Obviously on some corners you can predict it and turn early, but other ones when you're in the middle of turning out of another corner, it's like I haven't got time to steer five seconds early, like I need it now. And it's not even got a high range gearbox, so if it had a high range it'd be even worse because it'd be going even faster. Here, sadly, it got caught. And I'm not trying to beat it up or anything, but the loaf got over here first try. <laughs> the loaf is a horse, obviously, but still and not everything has got over here so that's like I'm not gonna rip it for it but those stairs caught it'd be nice to remove them it almost seemed like the rear fender like the front arches back of them sort of got caught but apart from that let's just say forget that bit then because that is a bit of a taller barrier than usual it can get over barriers however I took damage there and then there I took 
not silly amounts, but a couple of them soon add up. Right, again, sadly, turning full lock right, I let off the steering. This time it decides to straighten up immediate, immediately. Then it steers hard right after hitting the rock, because it didn't... I don't know, it's hard to explain. Like, if only it was just delayed steering, but... Sometimes when you let off the stick, it slowly floats back to the middle, and other times it's back to the middle so goddamn quick, it's like... I couldn't even apply steering, just let go of the stick and apply it again. It's like, it's already back to the centre, and it's... But not every time. <laughs> like, I'm sorry to keep going on about it, however... Maybe if you got this as your first proper truck, you might have just got used to the steering as a baseline, but then my advice would be, go and try another truck, and you'll... very likely prefer the steering. If you're going to get this truck after you've driven other trucks, I honestly don't think it's worth it. Not in its current form with this steering. It's quite springy as well, so like there, when I landed, it sort of threw its back end off. However, it did land on its wheels. The steering, once you full lock, is actually pretty nice, but look, again, because I full locked it to the right, I let off the steering, centres immediately, turn right again, it does the little left thing first, and I hit the wall. And it's like, yeah, imagine, again, driving a car, but imagine every time you went to hit the brakes, it accelerated first. It's like, it ain't going to be long before you have a crash. Like, things doing the opposite of what they're supposed to be doing is, like, and again, I would say broken, but I, I've got a feeling it's not a glitch. But I don't know. Somebody said a while ago, like, about, oh, can you review the... Freightliner, and they said it's pretty good, but it's got slow steering. But they didn't say it's got clown car steering, so I don't know if it's like something that they've broke since the last update, or if it's just like I, said, I feel like it's a bit too deliberate. You've seen the balancing point there, obviously, didn't just jump over here. Um, I'm not gonna nail it for it, it got over there with a bit of winch, so. It is what it is, but other trucks this size obviously can jump over there. This was I was only leaving this bit in because I'm obviously I'm gonna be back at the mountain. I went through the trees by the way. It struggled for a little while, but I got there in the end. Uh yeah, because I went straight up the mountain, I actually got like a fairly okay bit of a uh, snow time. I think it sits quite narrow for how tall it is, so it doesn't land back on... it. You can land back on your wheels, but you could land on your roof, your side, like... If anything, I'd say you're probably less likely to land on your wheels than your side. Right, next thing is turning circle. Now look what the, ca uh, the trailer is hitting that thing on the back of the truck. I didn't realise at this point, because look, my steering's gone shallow, and I was staring at the steering at the minute, and I didn't even think to look at that. I just thought the steering had gone weird but yeah obviously looking back and later on I found that out as well so I now know watching back what it was see where the truck has some merits if you're in like fair, like this snowy cut through is harder than it looks and this truck is pretty decent and comfortable off road especially for an early game truck like I'm not going to say it's the most comfortable etc etc but it makes more sense if you purely off-road because it's going so slow that the steering doesn't really have time to bite you in the ass. Still though, if you were winding along some cliff edge thing and it still does that opposite steering, even at 5 mile an hour it's not going to be good. See now I let go of the steering, how quickly it centres and then I'm waiting forever for it to full lock. But then other times, yeah there look, it turns the other way like a goddamn rally car. And you just can't pin it down what it's going to do. I mean, at this point, I was like, oh my god. Please make it stop. <laughs> please just be more loafy. Um, yeah, and then it randomly started rotating itself until it was pointing at the petrol station. Like, I don't know, it wants a bag of sweets. Like a little kid <laughs> throwing a tantrum. Uh, yeah, tried to miss that rock. Almost did a full left-hander down the river. 
and then you have to let off and then you lose your momentum and it's like the gearbox because it's lower than a high range it's pretty good like there is some power to it I'm not saying it should be like a lot lower but I don't know power yes power to weight I don't know if S is quite right so you get like the chances of me threading that without hitting anything are slim to extremely none but once I'm in the snow I'm even in auto now oh yeah that was what I was gonna say about the gearbox the things already got diff locks always on regardless I can put all-wheel drive on whether I want whether I'm in low range or not so why is it give me a sort of a special off-road gearbox then again like probably because the steering's so horrific it would kill itself with a high range but yeah like auto is about the same as medium to high low high is just a bit above high low but I don't really need them because I've always got the diffs on and stuff like if diffs were switchable it'd make more sense or it'd have more benefit to bothering going in high low etc but yeah in all, between auto and high like it's fine. See, again, I was trying to steer. It was just waiting for two seconds and then hit the rock. <laughs> and then tiny little bit of steering. And because that time it decided to go like a goddamn rally car, I swerved and hit the post. Made it through there. About I didn't actually go flat out. I did let off a bit, but I was only going to hit something if I didn't. And look, let off the steering. See how the wheels almost wiggled then like a shopping trolley. They pinged back that quick. So I completely missed the turn. I got out of there, but it was just slow, so there's no point. So next up, the uh, rock bridge thing. And again, like I say, I wanted to like this. I tried it a little bit when I was doing the container contest, but by the time I thought I'd be able to have a sideboard on it, and I bought it near the end of the container contest when I was testing everything, and I was like, oh, I can't have a sideboard. So I took it for a quick little spin, but nothing much, and then I sold it and got the next thing that could have a sideboard. So this is probably the truck I've driven the least since the game came out. I drove it for like a couple of minutes probably, apart from like before I started doing all this video. I drove it for an hour or two, yeah, before this, but the sad thing is, it's like because of the steering, it just makes a meal out of everything, and it's like... It is a good truck underneath, like it's got some, I mean there it's like, what the, now you're smashing yourself to pieces. The front suspension is almost so spongy that, yeah, you can knock that wheel around quite easily, the front wheels, and it's like they often don't like it. I mean now I've got a flat tyre, but I'm going to carry on, I don't even think it has an option for spare tyres, so... I'm only going to go through this bit anyway. Well, I'll edit the rest out, but I mean... It's still pushing along nicely, even with the burst tyre. Again, the it's got some low-end muscle to it, especially that the gearbox helps it. Like, a lot of stuff with the advanced special gearbox is pretty meaty because it's sort of been geared lower, but... Yeah, I've got no complaints there, especially for an earlier game truck. See how it turned slow and then it suddenly went and it's like yeah it's not smooth it's the opposite of smooth and like I said I know the loaf isn't rapid but it's smooth and smooth becomes fast over time like when I've been doing the rally videos I was surprised how close the times were of the loaf compared to stuff like the Tega um, whereas this is not smooth so even if it was fairly quick it becomes a hell of a lot slower there I tried to drive along the left edge steering went flying and I ended up if I had a trailer in that now do you know what I mean it's like I know I'm just doing a review and I can just reverse out and go along the left edge but if I was on a mission and then just look there's my steer I can promise you I did not apply that much steering I applied it for about a quarter of a second and then it reacted about two seconds I'd already let go of the stick before I even turned then or you before you seen it turn and then it turns and it's like, Jesus Christ. I mean, long story short, 
I had to winch there because it was basically stopping dead. I went through here twice as well, so I already knew kind of what I was expecting. Yeah, it crawled. It, once I got near the edge, it did crawl out, and again, it'd be a bit of a squeeze. You've got your winches back up, but I reckon you could get a trailer through there if you went along the left edge or right edge if you're coming back the other way. And so it begins. Uh, yeah, having the time of your life driving the Voron back here. And again, in, like I was actually, I'm almost getting like steering PTSD, but. As soon as I got back in any other truck, give it five seconds just to be like, oh yeah, the steering's not a maniac. And then I was fine driving every truck straight down the road. Like, it's this that is the issue. Like with the car and Marshall, and I'm not trying to say I'm a great driver. I spend my life smashing into everything for fun, like, on purpose, because I like... I like repairing and rescuing stuff, to be honest. Like, so it's almost like inventing a mission. But, yeah this thing, I mean look at it. If you go in straight up hills it's got enough power but <laughs> don't be doing diagonal hills or anything but <laughs> straight up. That's what she said. So <laughs> I got, to be honest I didn't. I wasn't even looking at the Voron then. That was more a bit my fault because if I was looking at the Voron I wouldn't have just released it and stopped there on such an awkward hill. Thought maybe this could redeem itself. Right now it's like, oh, please make it stop. So this time when I got the Taiga, I just recovered the Voron and then when I was back at the garage it was it was quicker to recover the Voron than to go on the menu and scroll down to the garage because I've got about 50 trailers on this map. sometimes as well. It, I reckon it could do with a little bit, not more power but more of the power to the front not by much but every now and then it's like I've seen the wheels twitching a bit throughout tonight and it's like yeah just I don't know 5% from the rears just send that to the front I mean, what a time to be alive. If you like rescuing trucks and rolling on mountains, <laughs> you get yourself a Freightliner. Um, I mean, see, pointing straight up, she's good. However, <laughs> there's some little things called dips and hills and corners and rocks. I mean, look, this is where I found out that the trailer can't even go all the way around. So now I've got some crap reversing angle. And then look, from some little wiggle as I stopped, it jiggled the trailer through. Now I can full turn, so I'm like, oh, okay. I just wanted to reverse and check, like, I, right, it stops about like an L shape. Well, the backwards one at the minute. Go to go forward, the trailer blocks me, then it releases me. A quarter of a second of steering, and I hit the post. Like, I'd already begun and ended steering <laughs> before you ever seen it even move. But this off-road bit, we're on our way to the uh, quarry. It's going over there pretty pretty well, pretty nicely. Even through here, it's a little bit like, it'd be nice if it was a tad fat. I am towing a loaf, but I've towed a loaf through here and just about everything and I don't think it makes a difference. I certainly don't think it should make a difference when this thing's got S on the power. But I'll cut the rest. I got through there, but I was just uh, grabbing me loaf. The loaf will get through there, but... Oh, yeah, I did it in the loaf review. Yeah, what a horse of a vehicle. I already knew, by the way, before I even got to quarry, I knew this would happen. I just needed to see it. Yep, that's right. I dared to touch... A bit of left hand stick. Who knows? I might have even turned right. And then it just decided, well, we're going to add a bit of left in first. So, obviously, bring the loaf, 
started winching the vehicle round. It's gone invisible. I was hoping to, like, wedge it on something, but it was having none of it. I went to go round. About now. It's like, oh no. It's a good job we brought a horse, really. I mean, what a goddamn professional. See? You just can't keep a good loaf down. Get a loaf. <laughs> Get yourself a loaf. <laughs> Squeeze it under that trailer. He ain't done yet. Got a freight line to flip. The reason why I went forward and then reverse back then was because I just remembered <laughs> as I was stopping that I've got the autonomous winch on this. Not the advanced winch, so obviously not as much length to it. I mean, look at the goddamn horse. As soon as I took the handbrake off, that's why I wasn't going at the start, but it's a beast. See, pulling the thing around isn't really an issue. It's nice if you can get it on the right angle, so that it's got obviously those four winch points at the front. I, what do I cut? Oh yeah, I did winch to the top front point. And of course, the loaf still got its 100%. It's a horse. Get yourself a loaf. Obviously it keeps doing that invisible thing even more than usual on this map. Now, I don't know. I've either got a trailer up my ass, or that trailer just had a freight liner up its ass. One of the two. Uh, so, I attempt to flip this trailer. Now see, low end pulling power and that, as long as all your wheels are planted and you're not on some weird angle, it's pretty nice. However, see, I was obviously looking at the trailer. The steering started trying to go up the mountain even though I was not steering that way about four seconds before it tried to do so. And that's why you get yourself a horse with a vehicle, look at him. He knows how to get out of the way. <laughs> I went for it. See, I know I've got the autonomous winch, but if I had the advanced, this definitely would have been a pretty bad situation. However, I also know I had a freight liner right there, so even if I didn't have the autonomous, but I mean, look at it. This ain't my first time. Oh, yes. I mean, now I was like, yeah, that'll do. <laughs> You can have the steep test. <laughs> oh my god. Please make it stop. Thank you. <laughs> whatever whatever helped me then. Yep. I don't care. It's the best quarry get downer ever. I'll give it that. It got down there. It rolled. It rolled back. 10 out of 10. <laughs> I don't care. I mean look. Now Dwayne. Dwayne nearly tripped me up. It'd be nice if it had slightly bigger tyres. They're not particularly small. I think they're 47. 49 would be nice. Stick them on. Uh, yeah, as soon as you do that, really. I mean, it's not happy. To be fair, a lot of things are not happy through there. Again, this is why I bring a loaf. I mean, instantly started pulling it. The only reason I switched to this is because I wasn't sure if it would turn all-wheel drive off if I was winching from the loaf, but it didn't, and I, I'll i have to look into that more. I don't know if that's... Like, I don't know. I've noticed it tends to turn everything off. But we got it to the next bit, and then now, I genuinely forgot to save the footage, and this is what it jumped to. So, I just had to pause this video, <laughs> go back on the game. That's why I've got a different colour truck now. That was my first trailer. I thought it was going to go then. Again, I only put a tiny bit of left, uh, right in, and it almost went... Well, it tried to go full lock. It's like, no matter how much steering input you put in, a lot of the time it's like, well, I'm going to go full lock. Like, <laughs> whether you asked for it or not. I did... The first time I went up here, I actually got caught on that stone, but... I thought it would have just jumped over it, to be honest, but it didn't. I mean, 
again, it's not the worst we've seen. It got up the court. It actually got up there pretty comfortably. Like, well, uh, that's probably a bit of a stretch, but it got up there. I didn't need any uh, help from the loaf. And then, yeah, crawling through here. I already knew. And then it's like, winch, what the hell are you doing? Winch into something behind me. I'd rather you said no winch point than do that. I will say why it's just popped up and I remember. Obviously with fuel I do kind of think it's how long's a piece of string, what engine have you got, blah 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 blah, what cargo, what terrain are you on. But I did notice tonight this thing does, because it's not that fast but it's only got a 200 litre fuel tank. Uh, like it's the same size as the dolphin but the dolphin's a lot quicker. So it uses that 15 litres a minute to get pretty damn far in a minute. This thing doesn't and can't, so yeah, like, it's not horrific, but fuel will probably be an issue on medium to longer runs. Obviously what I'd do is stick a roof rack on the loaf and just tow it behind me. And then I've got 300 odd repair points, spare tyres, because this thing hasn't got a spare tyre. So that is like, again, that's the handy thing with the loaf. It just weighs nothing, stick it on the back, stick it in on top of the cargo, and it'll probably just sit there anyway, but... Uh, yeah, obviously, because of that stupid thing on the back of the truck, behind the cab, I can't squidge a loaf in there, which it'd be a bit iffy anyway, because the uh, truck wheelbase is pretty short. That trailer... Oh, I don't know if this truck was just being a knob or if that trailer was particularly awkward but I kind of feel like I would have smashed that trailer out of the way in a lot of stuff and then it almost went somehow dug in because it just rammed that front tyre suspension up so hard that yeah it had no other choice then it fell over and long story short I cut some out but eventually I put it in high started doing it I was like yes finally he's doing some good things that's more, and then it slid down. <laughs> I couldn't get back up because I just gnawed all the land away next to me. Now I looked back. I thought the steering was trying to be slow that time, but looking back, it looked like the steering was fine. It was just it's too tall and narrow, and it yeah, some trucks could have landed that, some couldn't. This certainly isn't the only one that couldn't. But I mean, I'm trying to go in a straight line. You know, some people have asked me to review the Antarctic thing, and I will soon, I'm going to anyway, but the reason I left it so long is because it's so squirrely and horrible to drive in a straight line that I just kind of left it hoping that they'll fix it. That's the same reason I did the long nose collab and I, I didn't do the flat face one yet because it caught so much stuff on its belly. I was hoping I'll just leave it and they fix it, and apparently they might have. Um, once I damage the engine, it doesn't like going along too well before it stalls because it's got quite a punchy high revving engine it sort of made more sense if you remember the pay style was very good even when it had a very damaged engine worse than this but because that's a very like lazy revving low revving engine it seemed to cope with it better obviously there is no snorkel up to the root you can barely call it a snorkel but up to its sort of bonnet I mean look that was trying to do a jump <laughs> and it just veered left and then did that at this point I wanted to launch it off there <laughs> just to kill it because yeah it needed it so I don't even know what I was doing now I was just like had enough of it and I was like get in the trailer and then thought yes I'm gonna jump a dolphin off there and I'm gonna squash you and then I was like oh my god seesaw trailer I'll have to look into that later but now right now my brain is like doing the maths just thinking what I can yeah leave it with me uh, bloody recovery PTSD I wasn't supposed to hit recover and it was about now it dawned on me like oh you twat so I'll go back there well sort of go back there look I just wanted to park on the hill it's like just do something that I ask without making a meal out of it Say hello to Dolphin. It needed it. See, I just knew that it'll... Da I came down, like, tried to 
goes slow down the edge of the mountain. Yeah, it got damaged pretty badly, so I just thought, right, I'll smash you off the cliff with a dolphin with a recovery, like a van body on its back. Kick that cargo out of the way. I went for it. It was close. But damn, I was like, what I need now is a loaf. I mean, look at it. Dolphin CPR on the way down. It was a professional. <laughs> it's like, who made this thing? Even I was like, yep, she's a goner. Of course she isn't. Told you. <laughs> Six out of four. What a goddamn beast. Get yourself a loaf. So again though, that corner winch point. It'd just be nice if trucks had a winch point on the roof like the Navistar. I can't remember if any other trucks do, but I remember the Nav I use the Navistar a hell of a lot, so I definitely remember that one does. To be honest, I was reversing the low foot. I was going to just park the freight liner sideways, and then when I got in it, I was like, well, I suppose it is a freight liner review. <laughs> but I can easily make it a loaf review. That is not a problem. As for drowning, obviously, yeah, it's not got a snorkel up to the roof. So, it's going to suffer quicker than most. At least, I mean, it, 69, at least it told a joke before it died. It finally did something. And then uh, in the background, I noticed on the beach some wheels sticking out the floor. <laughs> so I thought, I'll go and check it out with my loaf. I thought, Hang on, they might be my Hummer wheels. Oh, yes, the Hummer is back. Oh. Hang on. We might be in luck. Easy does it. Oh, we've got ourselves a Hummer back. Oh, no. No, we haven't. We've got a Hummer satellite. Well, anyway, that's enough of that, but. That's the Hummer update. <laughs> That's what she's up to these days. Listen to this. What the hell was that noise? I tell you, I told you this game's like a horror movie. That's like that pig thing from Saw that comes flying out. I'm looking around like, what? Was that in my flat or is that on the game or I don't know? Doesn't sound good in your left ear at three in the morning though. Anyway, in conclusion, get yourself a loaf. Um, Sadly, I honestly, I wanted to like it. It isn't horrific, like the truck itself is not bad. It's the steering that, yeah, if I had a choice between high range and off-road, I'd actually put the off-road one in because I wouldn't want the higher speed, but I just really don't like the steering. I tried it with uh, smaller wheels. I didn't try it with lowered suspension, but... I don't even. I didn't even really want to try it with smaller wheels. I just wanted to see because somebody told me that worked with a Voron and it did. This I didn't really notice anything. It's not necessarily the depth of the steering or whatever. It's just like I've shown you that weird, stupid like opposite steering first, and then it goes the other way, and it's just you can't predict it, and it's. It just felt like it was making a meal out of everything. It's like if you just wanted a nice, relaxing, bloody grab your cargo and head somewhere, it's like just trying to go straight down a road. You might get lucky and it starts going straight, but if it isn't, and you maybe with a steering wheel, it'd be obviously a lot easier. But for most people, you haven't got a steering wheel, and yeah, you've got some kind of uh, remote, or you're pressing buttons on a keyboard, so. I don't know, there's something they need to fix with that steering. If they do, I might give it some, like, not a full review again, but, like, just a mini update, because, yeah, apart from that, it isn't a bad truck. If it's... I'll be honest, though, if you're at level 2 or whatever, and you've sold some stuff and you can afford it, I'd get the Azov John. It's a monster. Like, it's not rapid, but it's a beast. Whereas this, like, or I'd get the Voron AE, but, yeah, we'll see how it goes. I'll keep an eye on the steering situation, but... That's the review for today. I hope it helps. I hope you've enjoyed. Thanks for watching and I'll be back soon.